In this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the call recording option not showing on your Samsung phone. Many people face this issue, and it can be frustrating when you want to record an important conversation. Luckily, there are a few simple steps you can follow to resolve this problem. To get started, open the phone app on your Samsung device. Next, tap on the three little dots at the top right corner of your screen. A menu will appear, select settings from this menu. Once you're in the call settings, you'll see an option called Wi-Fi calling. Sometimes, having this feature enabled can interfere with call recording options. Simply toggle off this switch to turn off Wi-Fi calling. Now check if this has resolved your issue. If the call recording option is still missing, swipe down from the top of your screen and tap on the gear icon to access your device's main settings. Scroll down until you see Apps. Tap on it. Then tap on the search button at the top right. And then type in Phone. Select Phone from the search results. Now tap Force Stop. This will close any processes that might be causing issues with call recording. After force stopping, scroll down a bit and tap on storage. Here, select clear data. Confirm by tapping delete. This will clear any cache data that could be preventing the call recording feature from appearing. Once you've done that, check again if the call recording option is now visible. If you still cannot see the call recording option, let's try one more thing as a last resort. Go back to the main settings page and tap on general management. Scroll all the way down until you find reset. Tap on it. And then choose reset all settings. This will reset all settings on your phone except for security settings, language preferences, accounts, personal data, and downloaded app settings. Confirm by tapping Reset Settings. After you've done that, check once again if your call recording option is now available. If not, consider reaching out to Samsung support for additional assistance tailored specifically for your model or software version. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.